just like this, that card is going to begin to melt down through every single card in the deck, all the way to the very bottom. We've all seen that classic card trick where the magician takes a signed card, places it into the center of the deck, squares it in, does the sneaky move, and somehow that card rises to the top. Let me show you how I do it, and I do it a little bit differently. First of all, I'm gonna do it in slow motion. Second of all, I'm gonna do it with the deck face up, so it melts down to the bottom of the deck. Watch, I'll place the card on top. The first card's the easiest. All I have to do is just wave my hand, and it melts through one card of the deck. You can see it's still the same signed card. Watch, we'll place it back in near the top. It doesn't matter if it's exact. And this time it's gonna melt the rest of the cards. Watch, this is the hard part. Three, two, one. And just like this, that card is gonna to begin to melt down through every single card in the deck, all the way to the very bottom. Or should I say the top? Well watch, we can do it one more time, and this is the weird part. It's gonna melt all the way down from the top to the bottom in hyperspeed. Check this out. Three, two. Now it's already back on the bottom of the deck at warp speed. Welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. My name's Lloyd. In this week's video, I'm going to show you my very latest 2024 updated handling for one of my oldest ever creations. The gimmick is going to take you about 10, maybe 5 seconds to make. All of you can make it at home right now. It's incredibly easy to do. And by the end of the video, you'll be able to perform my super visual slow motion version of the classic ambitious card routine. Also, shout out to Chris Webb for his effect called Through the Ranks. Independent creation, but these are very similar in effect and nature. Side note, we just crossed 99,000 subscribers. I literally can't believe it. In the next few days, I'm probably going to get over the 100,000 subscriber mark, which will be my life's dream come true. I can't quite believe it. And to say thank you to everyone so far, I'm running a contest to win my classic double disc DVD project with over 20 plus of these super visual classic effects of mine from like 10 years ago. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and a random subscriber will be chosen by next week in the next tutorial. Let's go learn this routine. The secret is this gimmicked card right here. And you're looking at the gimmick and you can get a really good look at this, especially in the real world. I can see the gimmick, but you can't. And that's because if I turn it this way, you'll now see the exposed view. But when you turn it around, the human eye just cannot see it because of the camouflage back design. All I've done is I've taken a card, I've cut the bottom quarter off it, and I've stuck some double stick tape at the very top of the card here, and that creates my gimmick. If you want to perform this signed, just make sure the tape isn't so sticky, and at the end, you can just steal the gimmick off into cop. But the important part is how you use this gimmick. So let's go and learn the routine. So this is the setup of the deck. Take the gimmick card, place a random card above it and a random card below it. Turn the deck face up and place those on the new top. Finally, turn the bottom card face up just like so. You're now ready to begin. Get a pinky break underneath the top two cards one, two. If you can't do a pinky break, just lift up like this. Now you're gonna do a double lift. So turn two cards over as one. So there's actually the first two cards there. So a double lift, turn the two cards over as one. Turn everything back over and place that X card in to the center of the deck. Try and get it as close to the center as possible. It's gonna help you out later on. And square that in. Now reveal that the card is back on top. And now this is where you explain that you're gonna do things a bit differently. First of all, you're gonna do it in slow motion. Second of all, you're gonna do it face up. So execute a TG Murphy deck flip, which is by holding your thumb and middle finger on the top outer edges of the deck and use your index finger to flick the cards over. Hopefully nothing spreads. And now turn your gimmick face down. The cool thing is, even though they can see the back design, they won't be able to see the shadow because of the way light works and their eyes because it's cut this direction. 
So I placed the gimmick face down, out jogged on top of the deck, and now I'm gonna execute an Erdnaze card change. Let's take a closer look at the Erdnaze change. I'm gonna use this Omni deck to give you a brief overview of the Erdnaze color change from underneath. So it looks like my hand just waves the top card and it changes. But if I move this hand further down than it should, you'll see what's going on. I'm gonna push the top card, so this top card up with my fingers, and I cover the bottom card here. So this card comes forward, and now the heel of my hand is gonna contact this card. You'll see, as I do that, it drags it back until it clicks past the top card of the deck. Then, when I bring my hand back forward, I can now square the top card in. It's kind of tricky to show you from every angle because it's such a covered move, but one more time, I use my pinky to push the top card forward. I then drag this bottom card back and it goes on top. From a sort of above view, it looks like this. So I bring the heel of my hand in contact with the bottom edge of this card. I slide it backwards until it pops. And then I just replace it back to its original position. And then I add some flair to it. This is now the first part of the illusion. I can actually flash here if I want to, to strengthen the fact that they believe the deck is really face up. Now I pull out the signed card and I say this is still the same signed card. And it looks like I'm gonna to turn to my side and place it back in like this. But what's secretly happening, using the back of my hand as a shield, so I aim the back of my hand towards their eyes, is this. I'm gonna allow the bottom of the gimmick to contact the bottom of the deck and as I do so I'm just gonna slip the gimmick in to the cards right at the top here I'm now gonna reposition my hands to cover the edges with my thumb far over the deck and my middle finger as far over the edge of the deck as I can and finally my index finger is gonna push up just like that to make it look like it's really there, otherwise you'll have this weird sort of slug to it. Okay? And I do that in a, just a few seconds, and when I come back around, I aim this directly at the audience. And here's what's gonna happen to execute the visual sync through. I'm gonna use my thumb and my middle finger to push forward. And as they do so, they're gonna bring the card out from its position. The important part is to cover the corner here and the corner here with these fingers. Because as you do that, it gives a really nice illusion that the card is in the deck. And all you're gonna do now is just allow your middle finger and thumb to control the speed in which it starts to square up with that card, okay? So you just use your fingers to bring that card flush to the bottom of the deck all under the slight guise of waving it up and down. Once it's here, you can either pull the card out to display it. I like to lift the deck cleanly up with my right hand gra grabbing it at the bottom corner. And it just looks like it's melted all the way through. I'll show you just the gimmick at play with the clear deck so you can see what's happening. As I turn to the side, I load the bottom of the card underneath the deck and this gets wedged underneath that top card. So what's happening now is that my fingers are going to wriggle the gimmick forward and as I wave up and down, I'm going to slowly lower the gimmick to the bottom of the deck, at which point I can now display the gimmick. But either way, however you want to display the card, I now place it back out jogged on the bottom, hiding the gimmick. I turn everything over and say we're now going to, at warp speed, make it sink back to the bottom. All I need to do now is square the out jogged card on top of the deck, and I'm gonna do a block pushover of the top two cards, so it hides this card, so I block pushover. I spread about the first third of the deck. Now, because that card is in the center here, I do another block pushover, so I block over a chunk of cards, I push a chunk of cards past the middle, so I hide this card here. So I push that chunk over. And now, probably the trickiest move in all of this is that I'm gonna 
cull, reverse cull the bottom card, almost like a bottom deal, underneath the spread. Okay, so I'm going to do this, underneath the remaining part of the spread, to clean this bottom card up. As I push through, I split the deck, and then bury it with the remainder of the cards, and square everything up. And that is the full effect. 